great field announcer, Billy Savecco. James, oh, his real name's James the Third, but he goes by Trip Hurt. He's run 3.39 in the 15, 3.56 in the mile. Let's give it up for Trip Hurt. Wearing hip number two. He's normally wearing a hat and a t-shirt, but today he means business. That's right, business. He's a national record holder for Mexico in the mile. He's run 3.56 in the mile. Daniel Herrera. Wearing hip number three. He's known for having the world record in the jeans mile, 411 in a pair of blue jeans. Can he break fours? PR's 401. Dylan Maggard. Wearing hip number four. From Colorado, Sad Boys Track Club, Nick. Harris! Next up from Hoka, New Jersey, New York, wearing hip number five. He's run 13.35 in the 5K, 3.57 in the mile, Travis Mahoney! A legendary athlete from New Jersey, the pride of CBA. He's run 359 in the mile, 340 in the 15. His name's Tim G Daddy Gorman. He might have the most fans out of anyone out here tonight. Maybe, maybe. We're talking Tin Man Elite. That's right. Hip number seven. He said he might follow more dogs than people on Instagram, that's right. Jeff Face! This mustache maniac from Texas. That's right, he's wrecking that mustache because he's a old Miss Rebel. The first time ever breaking four in the mile was 354. Let's see it for Robert Big Doe Manic! He hails from North Carolina, New Jersey, New York, silent assassin. He's run 356 in the mile, 1342 in the 5K. Graham, Crawford! He is known for his off the cam or for his off the track performance in the real Maine with Eric Van Ingen and Kyle Merber. He's run 336 in the 15, 356 in the mile. Riley Masters. This man has published a book, Small School, Big Dreams, the 2018 D2 1500 meter champ, 357 in the mile, David Rubich, throwing out the blink for the fans. That's right, that's right, woo! Next up for Under Armour, he's an Aussie with an attitude. That's right, he's a four time national champ, from the Wisconsin Badgers, 355 miler, Morgan Mick M -M -M McDonald. With one of the fastest PRs in the field at 352. This man is not messing around. He's run 1332, 738 in the 3K. And like we said, 352 in the mile. Can he give it a go? Andy Bear. Here we go, guys. He's coming to pump it up. Who do we have here? Take a guess. He's known for his one-liners. 
If he doesn't race well, we might cut him off Twitter for two weeks. That wouldn't be no bueno. Chances are, if you're running in this race, you've probably slept over at his house in the last week or so because he's hosting the whole entire meet. He's run 3.52 in the mile. Let's put it up for Kyle Merber. Woo! Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Again, a great set of introductions there by Billy Savecco. 14 runners here for this men's mile. Course record or meet record 353.91 set by David Torrance in 2015. And Torrance Cup is what will be awarded to the winner of this race. And I want to give a shout out uh, to Hoka One One and to Kyle Merber. Uh, it's not just Hoka runners that are running in this meet, but runners from every shoe company. And uh, there's a lot to be said for that. And congratulations to Kyle for putting on such a great event and Hoka for supporting all the athletes, not just the ones that are wearing Hoka shoes. So now, Rob Napolitano is supposed to be the rabbit for this race. And once again, my favorite shot here, you see all of them lined up and the crowd, which is uh, three or four deep in some areas. And you can see the field here. There's Riley Masters. Of course, Riley was sixth this year in, in the national championships in the 5,000 meters. So this one might be a little bit of a stretch coming down to the mile. You can see number 12, Morgan McDonald, the four-time NCAA champion from the University of Wisconsin. And the crowd giving a cheer for the late David Torrance. He was just weeks away from trying to get a three-peat here of three-mile championships in a life that was tragically cut short at such a young age. And here we go, we are ready. And what kind of a race are we gonna see? Are we gonna see somebody go after this 353.91 of David Torrance? Or are we gonna see a tactical race like we saw in the women's race just moments ago? So we'll see what kind of pace Rob Napolitano sets and we'll see who goes after him. One of the people I'm most interested in seeing is Andy Bear. Obviously, here's a gentleman that was fourth in the 2015 USA Championships fourth in the 2016 U.S. Olympic Trials, fourth in the 2017 USA Championships in the steeple, and then to make matters worth, fourth in the U.S. Olympic Trials in the 1500. So he had four fourth place finishes before finally breaking through and getting a third at nationals and earning a trip to Doha. And you can see Bear right there in second place, and he's gonna go after it. This is a guy, I wanna say the steeple is not that deep this year internationally and this is a guy that not only can be a finalist in the steeple but can definitely make an impact in that race they went through in about 57 seconds for that first 440 and bear right there behind napolitano and ribich right in there as well david ribich from western oregon brooks beast he was second in the most recent falmouth mile and then there's morgan mcdonald moving down uh, into third and now moving into second that's or excuse me moving into third as mentioned Ribich and then McDonald in fourth Bear looking very very comfortable there in second and Napolitano trying to put the pedal down here Bear looks comfortable, so does Ribich. You can see Ribich there, Morgan McDonald, the four-time NCAA champion from Wisconsin. We're coming up to 880 yards, and Bear hit it in 156.8. 156.8, when, where Andy Bear came through. So that is a really nice split. And remember, Bear's got a lot of strength. So if he can hang on and push it here, we might see something special. His lifetime best, 352.90 from 2013. That's a long time ago, but he's also a 148.97, 800 meter guy. So it is Bear, it is McDonald, it is Ribich, and then it's Rob Dominic back there with the University of Mississippi mustache. And those are your first four. 
and Bear obviously looking at this race very, very seriously. McDonald now moving up. And McDonald's lifetime best, 355.77. That goes back to 2017. Ribic is always one of the most underrated milers around. Again, second in the Falmouth Mile, his lifetime best, 357.83, which he did earlier this year at the Sir Walter Mile. 258.5, 258.5 for Andy Bear. Bear, McDonald, Ribic have broken free. And now we're gonna see what we'll see what kind of a kick. This is gonna be great for Andy Bear because he's going to need to have that kind of finishing speed in Doha in that steeplechase where he's gonna run up against the likes of Sufyan El Bacali and possibly Conselsus Kiproto. And there goes Morgan McDonald. Wow, this is a guy you more, more think of for 5,000 and 10,000 meter running, but look at McDonald fly. McDonald, wow. The Australian, look at him go. He has a lifetime best of 355.79, a 1500 meter best of 339.14, and look at him kick. Wow, we got a great race for second too. Rob Dominic coming up for second. It's gonna be a blind finish for second, but Morgan McDonald has put paid to this field. McDonald coming down and it's gonna be fairly fast. Morgan McDonald unpressed. Wow, what a great finish by McDonald and he looks full of run today. And let's see how many we got under four minutes here. We had a 14 person field. And again, kudos to Kyle Merber for providing such a tremendous field and, and, the, and, there he, and there's Morgan McDonald. And here's a replay, look at McDonald. Look at him stride down the stretch, full of run, not pressed in the slightest. He looks so strong, look at the strain on everybody else. Look at Rob Dominic looking down. But Morgan McDonald just really, really put the hammer to it and really has to be impressive to anybody out there that a 5,000, 10,000 meter man like McDonald could come out here and really throw a turn of speed like he did today. So we had all three of those races, the road to Doha 5K, the woman's mile, and the David Torrance men's mile, just outstanding races. And great performance by Hoka One One and Kyle Merber for putting this field together. You know, it's hard for Kyle Merber as the meet director to probably run very fast in this race. But uh, And there's Morgan McDonald doing a little media after the race. And 3.54.63 is the official time for Morgan McDonald. And remember, coming in, his lifetime best was 3.55.79. Rob Dominic with that great finish, 3.57.40. Riley Masters, 3.57.59. And again, Riley Masters, a 5,000 meter guy. And how about Danielle Herrera? 357.76 for the ex-UCLA runner. And Tim Gorman, the former duck, 358.03. So we had five under four minutes. But you walk away and you say to yourself, Morgan McDonald, this puts him at a whole nother level when you're looking at the 5K and what he may do in Doha. Very, very impressive. Graham Crawford in six at 404.50. The meet director, Kyle Merber, Seventh and 407.29, the ex-Colorado Buffalo, Nick Harris, eighth and 413.32.